Hello, I'm Joe Duggar, and I'm a business rep here at IBW Local 46. My primary focus is project labor agreements and community workforce agreements. And today we're gonna to talk about why those are important to you. A project labor agreement is a comprehensive pre-hire collective bargaining agreement between labor unions and private ownership groups or public municipalities that sets basic terms and conditions of employment for private or public work construction projects. These are important because they're guaranteed work. These are projects that have been funded and in the times that the economy slows down, these are projects that puts lots of construction workers to work. Sound Transit's one of the biggest projects we have. It's extending east to Redmond, north to Linwood, and south to Federal Way. We also have a lot of projects for the Port of Seattle at SeaTac Airport and down on the waterfront. Uh, the new Harborview project that just passed in Prop 1, that's $1.75 billion worth of work. We also have the Washington State Convention Center. Hello, Local 46. I'm Tony Butler. I'm a member of the PLA CWA team. So we're also gonna to talk to you today about CWAs. A CWA or Community Workforce Agreement at its core is a project labor agreement. Community Workforce Agreements will usually have language in the agreement that highlights community inclusion. An example of this would be the priority hire by zip code at the Climate Pledge Arena. We have over 200 electricians on this job. The Seattle School District, when it kicks off, will have priority hire language for past students and graduates. It's also important to know what agreement you're working under. Currently, we have 18 project labor and community workforce agreements. Being familiar with your agreement will not only benefit you, but also your fellow brothers and sisters on the job site. Labor reps from the various unions attend monthly meetings to go over labor compliance issues. We talk about safety concerns. So your issues we're able to bring to management or the county or the city and make sure that our conditions are being met on the job site. I know 2020 was a turbulent year for a lot of our members. Most of our project labor and community workforce agreements had minimum work stoppages due to COVID. Our members on these job sites stayed working, stayed safe, and continued to contribute to our economy. Our public funded projects will continue to be an important staple in the region. Local 46 has fought hard alongside Seattle Building Trades to secure these projects under PLAs and CWAs for our members. On these projects, you're gonna see myself and Tony Butler consistently out walking the job because Sean's committed to a higher level of representation. And we're looking for more involvement from our members to step up and be stewards. We have a class coming up. Sign up, be a steward, represent your union. All of these agreements can be found on our website if you go to the resource library. And if you have any questions, reach out to myself, Tony Butler, or the lead of the department, Elwood Evans. You can also find information on the Local 46 website or the Local 46 app. Thank you for listening. Remember, stay safe on the jobs, protect one another. Have a good day.